Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Bill. I'm that prepper that's living in the Philippines. Today's topic is going to be one I wasn't sure I was going to talk about, but I think it's uh, important for some people to get my perspective on this. And this is related to being an expat and being married to a Filipina. So just to let you guys know, you saw the thumbnail. I'm talking about why you should bring your Filipina to the West. Okay. Contrary to what a lot of other Western vloggers will talk about, I'm going to base this video today on my personal experience with my wife of 17 years. Okay, Now, there are a couple reasons why you shouldn't bring a Filipina to the West, and I'll cover those real quick right now. Maybe some more details at the end, but the main reason would be if she doesn't want to go to the West. Okay? Not all Filipinas are chasing the passport and chasing the West, okay? Sure, they might want to go visit Disneyland or New York City or San Francisco. Um, they might have relatives in the, the U.S., and those are valid reasons. But not all Filipinas are chasing that passport, okay? Trust me. I've been, I've been coming to the Philippines a long, long time. I know this to be true. I'm not sure where you're meeting your Filipinas, but... The majority of them just want a comfortable, happy life with a loyal, faithful man. Okay, let's, let's be straight about that. Now, the other reason you might not want to take her to the, the Philippines is if you're an older gentleman or, in my case, um, you're planning on retiring early outside of the West to the Philippines, as an example, it's not worth the time and money to really go through the process of getting your Filipina, ho hopefully married, but getting her over to the U.S. just to hang around for a year or so um, and then come back. Unless you got, you know, big bank of money and, and time or, or you have, you know, more than five years before you plan on moving, I don't think it's personally worth it, okay? I'll be straight with you. Now, why you should bring your Filipina to the West is, well, there's a lot of reasons, okay? I'm going to address the number one reason why they say you shouldn't first is they're going to say your Filipina will become Americanized um, and not the traditional Filipina once she's exposed to the West. And there is some truth to this. But at the same time, you know, if you're leaving the West and coming to the Philippines, are you not becoming Filipinoized, right? Are you not adapting and changing to live in the Philippines just like a Filipina would have to adapt, learn, and change to live in the West from her traditional um, and historical way of living? Trust me, it's a big change for them. Now, the other one is that if she is just chasing a U.S. passport or a green card, and as soon as you get those for her, they say that she'll run off with the next... Um, guy that comes along or she she's already has a guy waiting you know it happens but you know what I'm gonna blame the guy not the Filipina right so you didn't do your legwork you didn't take your time to to learn know and understand what you're getting into with that particular kind of Filipina and you know what you can't blame the Filipina if she sees a fool acting a fool and takes advantage okay you have to put your time in, you have to put your research in. That said, most Filipinas are not going to run the second they get their green card or their U.S. passport, okay? You might have some difficult times dealing with her adjustment and her homesickness, which is the biggest problem, being away from her family and just normal everyday things that in the Philippines is easy, but it's hard to do in the U.S., like playing volleyball, signing up for teams, it's a lot harder in the U.S. than it is the Philippines. You know, buying your, your special kind of foods, right? So, you know, it took us a while until we found the seafood city markets and the ability to get the foods that she liked. I didn't even have a rice cooker until she showed up and says um, I was duly lacking, um, severely lacking by not having a rice cooker. We resolved that. But if you can get past this homesickness, if your wife wants to work or maybe she doesn't have to work it's not that hard it is different than in the Philippines because in the Philippines you can call in sick and you can say the traffic or you can be late and the US is a little bit harder on that they, they really like you to show up and work um, when you're supposed to work 
And I, I'm, I'm not down, down in the Filipino work culture. I'm just saying from my experience of living here almost 10 years, um, certain levels of people just call in sick a lot or just don't show up. Trust me, I deal with this all the time in my businesses. Now, what should you expect? Well, you're going to expect right away that she's just going to be shocked, right? Everything is, honestly, everything is different from driving to um, not having a motorbike, um, like motorbike culture like you have here with the scooters. Um, of course, you can get a scooter if you want, but they're just not common in the U.S. The weather, depending on where you live, she might not have ever seen snow before. And on TV, it looks really great. Let's go play in the snow. You take her to the snow and she tells you, I don't like the snow. <laughs> you know, some Filipinas do, but you know, the, just the every day-to-day -day thing in that aspect, um, every little thing is new and every little thing will shock her. Now, as she adjusts and becomes used to living in the West, does that make her Americanized? In my opinion, no, okay? I know what you're trying to say when they're Americanized where a lot of Western women, and certainly not all, but a lot of Western women, um, their re the reasonable expectations of where they fit in the chain um, has been lost, okay? Where if you have a traditional Filipina, she knows exactly where she, she belongs in the relationship, and she knows where you belong. You better be pulling your part as well, okay? Now, a couple good things about the process is, now, I've been married 17 years, so it might have changed a lot. Right there, there are services out there you can get to help you through this process, and you know I'll say enough about that right now. But what I love about getting my wife to the West, and she lived in the U.S. almost eight years with me. Okay, she got a job. She made Filipino friends, American friends, black friends, uh, white. She made friends, and she adjusted to the culture just fine. She learned that uh, some things that you do in the Philippines you can't do there, but. Other than being homesick, she didn't have a hard time. Now, if you hear some grunting and growling, I have little puppies down here playing at my feet. They always do this when I film. That's part of life. Now, another great benefit is after the required, I believe, three or five years, I can't even remember, my wife was able to obtain her United States citizenship. This is huge, okay? Even though we had a plan and we knew we were going to retire early in the Philippines, Having her go through the process in completing her citizenship and then reaffirming her Filipino citizenship down at the embassy in San Francisco, my wife became a dual passport holder. And there's not a lot of people in the world that do this. It sounds like there are, but there really aren't when you look at the percentage of the people in the world that are dual citizens or multi-citizens. Now, by my wife having her U.S. passport, um, today, for example, if we wanted to travel to the U.K., my wife can come with me with no problem. We get the visa on arrival. We have a, an easy way of doing things. Or any other country that are limited to the Philippine passport um, with the requirements compared to a U.S. passport. My wife also will qualify for Social Security later in life because she did work a bunch of hours. She did have jobs. She did contribute. So she has that option. And also, like we've done several times, if we want to go to the U.S. to visit my family, um, it's not a big deal. Yes. Other than the, the plane tickets, she just rolls right in. She's a U.S. citizen. Now, some people will tell you they've had bad experiences. And was it perfect? Well, no. 17 years being married, we've had our ups and downs. That's any relationship. I dare anyone to, to comment down below that it's been all gravy and sugar plum fairies, you know, if they've been married as long as we have. But... Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, my wife was shocked by a lot of things she saw in, you, in, in the U.S. She was surprised that we had beggars and homeless. Because here in the Philippine TVs and stuff in the Internet, they don't show all of that, right? But the U.S. has poor people. The U.S. has homeless. The U.S. has mental health issues with some people. Um, the U.S. has a lot of things that most Filipinos don't believe until they actually see it. And... <laughs> Money does not grow on trees. That's a saying I always say to my wife. And she didn't really understand that until she got to the United States. And she saw how expensive things were. Just, you know, you know when you have, like, we had a boat, my Harley, um, the house, the car, her car. 
Well, we have insurance we have to pay every month or yearly. You know, just to the privilege of insuring our items, let alone the taxes and the registration. She realized pretty quickly that, yes, Americans make great big money, but you know what? It takes great big money to, to live a middle class life in the United States, especially now. Now, keep in mind, I've been here almost 10 years. We made the move quite a long time ago, um, and even then it was not fun, okay? But if you think you shouldn't take your Filipina to the West because you're afraid she's going to leave you at the first opportunity, then it's your fault. You didn't do the due diligence. You either didn't find the right Filipina or you're not the right guy, okay? I'm going to be blunt about that. If a Filipina leaves you as soon as she hits the green card status, that is the guy's fault. Comment down below if you don't think so. If you think you got on a long con or you were played, you know, you still didn't put in your time and work, okay? That's my honest opinion, and I said what I said. Now, we talk about taking your Filipino to the West, but here I am living in the Philippines. I've done videos on this. The reasons why we both left together, remember, we're married, we're a partnership now. The reason we both decided to leave the, the U.S. and live in the Philippines uh, was twofold. One, it's cheaper, right? It, without a doubt. You know, when we made the move, it was a lot less cheaper to live here. I didn't want to work till I was dead in the U.S. And Randall, to be honest with you, um, was bored and she got tired of being in the U.S. after eight years. She really missed her friends and family. And for me, being a, a digital nomad type of guy, it didn't matter where I lived as long as I could still earn. So, again, just to reiterate, if you're scared to bring your Filipina to the West, find a different Filipina or adjust your attitude. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong. Now, that's all I'm going to say about this topic. And if it resonates with some... If you want to hate what I have to say, say it below. But if you're in a relationship with a Filipina and you can't trust her enough to take to the West, you're in the wrong relationship, guys. All right. Now, comment down below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe.